to wrap up, I want to pick your brain on two things. All right. One is, in what we do, from your perspective, from a warranty perspective, just general construction mm-hmm. perspective, what are some primary differences of stuff to, to set the tone for the differences in building a custom barn to barn dominium mm-hmm. versus hiring any other builder to build a, a, just a traditional home for you? Some things that... Full custom, or are you talking like... Uh, either way, that are just different. Okay. You know, because we get a lot of people like, well, my cousins built a house, and they didn't have this experience. And I'm like, yeah, different scenario, right? So, so just lean into that a little bit. So I am in a... Your typical community home cr- currently. My wife my wife said she was kicking us out of the fifth wheel, and I couldn't build my barn door at this time because our land fell through. So... I will walk into a barn dough, especially one that we've completed within the last six months and um, taken our system and just made it that much better. And I will walk into that home and I'll be like, I don't have hot spots. I don't have cold spots. I don't have, and just, it feels better, you know? And I walked in a couple of them with it raining and, you know, I'm in that front room and I can hear that rain and I'm just like, oh, that's a calming, cooling thing. And then I walk into a bedroom and the rain is gone. So I'm like, you can sleep in this room and out here, it's not so overpowering. I got to turn the TV up to 50, you know, and it just feels comfortable in there, you know, it's not even my house and I feel home, right? you know, um, I have had to take my home that I'm currently in and I sit there and I walk into that home and I have, within the first month, I ripped out so much stuff and I'm like, nope, 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 and then put my own stuff in it. With our homes, I don't see that warranty-wise. I come into these homes, they haven't changed. They don't change. We build them exactly the way these people want them done, you know. There might be a shelf here or a shelf there because they didn't want us to put it on and they put it on later. But other than that, the houses don't change. There's not, oh, yeah, I ripped out this, you know, system here or whatever else like that because I wanted to do this instead. And well, No. Yep. I'm hitting these houses up over a year, you know, a year after, and just they don't change. Right. The staining is still good. And they're like, yeah, no, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I, I'm in my little community of 11 houses, uh, you know, subset from this other community. And they're like, oh, yeah, I've already done this to my house, and I've done this to my house, and I've done this to my house. And it's like, yeah. That's why I want to well, build a bardo. It, and well, and that leads into the semi custom side of things. We're not, we're not building cracker jack boxes. No, no. It's, it, there's a level of customization to everything we do. The second thing I would ask you is this: being, especially from the perspective of what you do every day, somebody's watching this and they're thinking about potentially contacting us, or maybe not even contacting us. They're in another part of the country and they want to build a barn menu. Yeah. What kind yeah. of information would you give them? that you feel like would set them up for success in their expectations and what to plan for? So for expectations, know that if here's my biggest thing that I can, I want every customer out there to know whether they're building with us or not. If you are living on site, building a barn dough and you are looking at that house every single day until they hand you the keys it's not finished. Yeah. <laughs> Until you do a walkthrough with them, it's not finished. Yes, you walk in with like, I've seen this and this and this and this. It's not finished. Okay? So that's an expectation, If you, especially if you live on site. The great thing about mine is they live in Georgia, so when they come to see me, you know, the problems I have that they come up with are very minimal because I've already taken care of all these issues. I'm not looking at, they're not looking at the house every day. Um, other things I can say is you will run into problems. Lean on your PM to fix them. Just say, hey, notice this. Don't write them, but say, hey, I noticed this. Don't worry, we got it. If they say they got it, just keep an eye on it. Yeah. 
No, that's that's great perspective. I think a lot of people get lost in the weeds there. Communication. Yeah. Be clear and concise both ways. That has to happen both ways. If you are not clear and concise both ways, something will get missed. Well, and I think setting the precedence, and we do a good job with this now with our RS, RSB meetings, is it's not you versus us. It's us versus the world. Because mm. we both have an, a vested interest in this home being done on time, under on or under budget, and correct. You know, there, there's not a there's not a system in which you need to take aggression with us or right. vice versa. And so leaning into that and like working together and communicating clearly and understanding that as your builder, we want it done as much as you want it done. Yeah. There's no extra skin in the game for us to spend extra time here. Like, And it's not a matter of just getting you out of our hair. That's not it at all. It's not a matter of getting you your money. It's a matter that we want to get you in your home. We want you to start enjoying this, this thing we're building for you. It, so anybody who thinks that the Barndo Co. is sitting there and be like, yeah, we can get your house done inside of five months, you know, to sit there and be like, yeah, we're going to get that person's money and we'll get them out of our hair and now it's pushed on a warranty. It's not that. It's you came up to us with something once we start building. And here's the thing. I digress. That five months is from when we have our permits and everything else like that to when we put that house up. That doesn't include the three or four months prior to financing and design and everything. That doesn't include that. When when we start building that house, we want to get you in that house so that you can start enjoying it as much as we enjoy building. At least I do. I enjoy building that home, you know? Because I sit there the whole time I'm building it. I'm like, what would I want? That's a great perspective, man. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to the Barndo Show podcast. If you're watching on YouTube or wherever you're listening to this content, uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And then be sure to check us out on all of our social media platforms at The Barndo Co. Super simple to find us. And then when you're ready to dive in a little more, maybe look around some of our available floor plan options or take a look at the gallery of our work. Or maybe you're ready to connect with our team and explore what it looks like to build your dream barn dominium. You can visit us online at thebarndoco.com.